If we don't speak to you between now and the morning, I'll see you in the morning. It's about half past four in the morning and uh, we're blessed with a little bit of fog or a little bit of mist. I've moved uh, along the edge of the valley now or along the edge of the, on the top. Uh, the tent's somewhere over the other side of that rock and just up on here, believe it or not, I'm not the only one up at this time of the morning. There's a, a guy and his missus uh, flying their drone which is pretty awesome and I've just realised, schoolboy error, I left my drone in the tent and I've also left uh, my filters in the tent so um, I'm down to bracketing now so <laughs> schoolboy error, I told you I'd run off if the mist was out in the morning um, I've come a bit further along and I've got more of this view now so I'm sort of looking down into the valley um, it's not a massive cloud inversion which is a bit of a shame um, but like I said before, nevertheless, it's uh, it's different, and I'm here, and we don't know what's going to happen when the sun comes up. So um, I'm going to stick to it. Um, I've got a composition set up at the moment. Uh, just basically the V of the valley, you know, as, as of the, whatever you want to call it, the, the road that goes down, and you've got the valley in between, and then the road leads out into the into the misty background. So uh, I set that up as a basic composition, and uh, shooting with a 16 to 35. It's at uh, 35 mil at the moment. I had it a little bit wider before, probably about 24. Um, yeah, there's nothing. It's a bit. Yeah, it's it's one of them images. I don't know. I'll get home and play with it. Put a bit of uh, colour and contrast in it, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Because there's a nice band of colour in the sky. Um, but yeah, give me a few minutes. Let's see what this does. I might put the uh, 70 to 200 back on, and get a couple of closer, intimate shots. Um, you never know, it might turn into something spectacular.
Right, the sun is just coming up. Um, I've just set a composition up down here like this, if you can see. Uh, just with the sun, it's nice and muted. It's uh, really quite pretty. And uh, put it back on wide. Yeah, it looks really nice coming up behind me. So I've taken a couple of close shots. I'm gonna whack it back down to the valley now and try and get a few more in the valley. Um, sorry this is a bit rushed, but I'm a bit cut for time really. Yeah, it's all gonna be happen quite quick. The sun's come up now and it's actually up above the hills, but it's, uh, there must be some mist over there, which is stopping it. So I'm gonna quickly whack off a few shots. Um, I'm about f11, ISO 100. I'm gonna flick between the two lenses. I'll take a few images. I know it's a bit rushed. I haven't got my filters, so I'm gonna to have to do a bit of bracketing and uh, I'll let you have a look at the images. Enjoy. I've just come along the wall a bit more. Uh, it's gone nice and quiet now. The guys behind me have stopped flying their drone at the moment, but uh, the sun's up now, um, but it's still muted by the, the, the mist in the distance. Uh, I've changed position. I've got this crag sticking out. Uh, hashtag keep the selfie and all that. Um, yeah, I've taken a couple of bracketed shots again, two second timer. Um, I've exposed it about a stop overexposed, or two thirds of a stop overexposed. I've got it on a 10 second timer um, because I forgot to take it back after my selfie. Let's just take that back, put it back on two seconds. Um, yeah, we've still got some mist in the valley, and uh, like I said this rocky outcrop at the front just to give a bit of a a different shot on it. The sun's up now, it's getting brighter and brighter, so I think I'm going to make my way back down to the tent and uh, see if Denise is up and get a brew on the go. A little bit rushed, like I said, but uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. So uh, I can't believe I wasn't the only people here. Yeah, good morning. See you in a bit. I didn't move back to the tent, I've stayed here. And as you can see, I'm stood right on the edge and I'm looking down the valley. Uh, the sun's still quite high up in the sky. Well, the sun is still quite high up in the sky, but again, it's, it's just muted. Um, it's gonna get brighter and brighter. And I think I've probably had the best of the light or this is the best of the light. Um, I've just spotted a tree down there. Actually, I'm quickly going to change my lens over and see if I can get a picture of that tree just sticking out the side of the, the hillside. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a cracking morning. I do need to get back to Denise. There's some more mist down there in the valley, actually. So I'm going to go back to the tent and try and get another image of the tent while the sun's on it. Um, yeah, I sort of get a bit lost sometimes. When I get nice moments like this, I get a little bit lost and, and uh, lose my way a little bit. But uh, I think I've, I managed to get a couple of good images. Yeah, sorry I haven't talked to you all through them properly. I've got, uh, I've had it in uh, a vertical position and I've also got it in a horizontal to vertical because you've got the nice leading line of the road um, taking you in. I'm just not sure. Until I get back to the computer, I don't know how good they are. It's one of those mornings where I think it's better to look at it and enjoy it rather than try and photograph it. Especially without my filters. So let's head back to the tent and uh, get my filters on quick while there's still a little bit of light left.
well we're all packed away uh, or very nearly packed away this is the area where we were sleeping and as you can see you can't tell we've been here that's the way to leave it if everyone leaves it like that we shouldn't have a problem so uh, we're going to make ourselves a brew oh can't see me we're going to make ourselves a brew have a nice cup of coffee and a breakfast biscuit and uh, make a walk to the car been a really nice morning the mist is still laying in the bottom of the valley but I think it's like I said before I think it's better to look at than it is to actually photograph um, I've tried to get a few intimate shots of the shadows um, but I'm not sure it's quite working but yeah I'm gonna get ourselves a cup of coffee get the jet boil on the go and uh, speak to you when I get back to the car or on the way back I've got my brew jet boil does you good and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Cheers. She's being rude, <laughs> tell her off, stop it. Um, we've uh, stopped on the way back to the car, we've just stopped, we've come over the stile and uh, this sort of reminded us of the photograph I took um, up in... Uh, the hills. Up in the hills. <laughs> it's coming to me, it's coming to me. Lynn Ogwin. <laughs> yeah, it reminded me of the photograph I took up in Lynn Ogwin. Um, at the style looking down and you got Trifan in the background and had this misty misty haze again we've got this haze um, the mist or the haze is still lying down in the valley but the style's in nice shadows and you've got the wall in shadow so I've bracketed the shot um, I've had to bracket two over two under um, and I'm going to put them together in post the actual correct exposure is not too bad to be honest um, I've got a 0.9 hard ND grad to try and hold the sky down a little bit uh, and I've just bracketed really because of the foreground, you've got the, the grass and then the wall. So um, yeah, I think it's quite a nice little image. You've got the valley in the background, you've got the style taking you over and through into the valley. Um, can't say much more about it to be honest. It was at uh, normal exposure is f11, ISO 100 and 60th of a second. And that's just, just clipping the highlights, um, but I don't want it in the shadows. Um, because if you get it in the shadows, you can't recover them. So yeah, I think that's not a bad little image. So uh, check out the video below. I'll put a link up for you um, for the last one where I took at Trafan. It's well worth watching because we had a quite a hike, didn't we? And uh, it was quite enjoyable. And the, the, the scenery up there is amazing. Um, one of the best places, I think, for photography anywhere in Wales uh, is the Algwin Valley. So right, we're going to head off back to the car, pack this lot away, and uh, it's only back over that hill, about another half a mile, something like that. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye. As long as this is recording properly, because I can't see the screen. Heading back to the car now. Uh, I can just see the car on the other side of the field, so it's still there. That's always a good bonus. Hopefully the windows will all be intact as well. Yeah, and the um, wheel's still there. Yeah, and it's still got four wheels. <laughs> Been a good night, like I said before. 
I've enjoyed it. Uh, didn't get a lot of sleep, but it was still fun. <laughs> so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, a little bit hectic, not the usual, uh, what was, I don't know what the word I was going to say, skillful, educational photography tips. It was more of a case of, um, quick, let's get this shot before it's all over. Uh, but I did warn you last night I'd lose me head if it was nice. So, yeah, please like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this, maybe you'll uh, hit the notification bell and watch a few more that we put out. Um, we're going to do a bit more wild camping, me and the wife. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, there's going to be more content coming from me, a lot more landscape photography. So, without repeating myself, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, share this video. Oh, and always leave a comment. Love reading your comments. Let me know what you think. Till next time, oh, or till next time, it's bye from her. Bye. And it's bye from me. Ciao.